Hello everyone and welcome to the pilot episode of Making Money. We're cashing tickets here on the Newcastle News. I'm Ron Pawniewaz and we're going to talk NFL playoffs today. But before we talk about the games or any of that nature, remember for gambling, there's a few uh, few things you want to want to remember. First off is shop around. That's right. You're going to want to go to different sports books if you're online, compare numbers, compare compare point spreads and over under totals. You might find a better number at one book over another, and it's, it's to your advantage to pick the best number. And don't forget, you want to bet key numbers also. If you're talking football, in, in football there's key numbers. Things like 3, 6, 7, 10. Those are all key numbers relative to football. 3 being a field goal, 6 being a touchdown without the extra point. You get the idea. You don't want to go through a key number if you can help it. That's uh, another part of shopping around. You might get a good uh, good number that way. Going into this weekend, we have the uh, Super Bo Super Wild Card Weekend, which starts Saturday and runs through Monday night. In the last five years, the regular season dogs are 54% covering against the spread, ATS. They were 56% this year. Wild Card dogs in the last five years are 16 and eight against the spreads. Double digit home favorites home favorites of double digits or better. Double digits uh, this year are eight and zero in the wild card round. Uh, so let's, uh, let's talk about uh, the games that we have. Saturday, we have Seattle at San Francisco and that kicks us off in the super wild card round. That game is 4.30 p.m. out in San Francisco. The line open 10 and a half and currently today via Barstool Sportsbook over in, over in Austintown, Ohio, it is down to nine and a half. So it opened 10 and a half, it's down to nine and a half. The over under 42 and a half is what it opened. And today you can get it at 42. Another interesting thing this year is un the unders hit quite a bit, about a 65% clip in uh, divisional games. This game is a divisional game. San Francisco won both. And both of those games in the regular season, if they used this total of 42, would have went under. They're supposed to be really rainy on Saturday in San Francisco, so you never know. It could hit the under. It's kind of a dicey game to pick because Brock Purdy is a rookie. He could be. He could come down to earth. You never know. There could be a pick six, or, pick six or a scoop and score. The same thing with Geno Smith. First time in the playoffs for Geno Smith. So we'll see about that one. That's that's kind of a dicey one. I I don't have too much uh, action on that one individually in that game. Next we have Los Angeles Chargers at Jacksonville. That's uh, Saturday night at 8.15 p.m. The Chargers, for whatever reason last week, decided they wanted to play all their regulars despite the fact that they clinched the number five seed going into their game against Denver. They put, they put at risk all their starters. Brandon Staley, I'm not sure what he was doing, but Mike Williams is going to be out, their wide receiver. He's got a bulging disc in his, uh, in his back. He's got a, a back fracture, I believe I heard today. Joey Bosa, one of their defensive stars, he's he's banged up also. I'm not sure if he's going to play. The Chargers are flying cross country. The Jaguars have won five in a row to get to get in the playoffs. They're hot right now. I like the Jaguars' money line. Money line, that means all they have to do is win. By one point, 21, doesn't matter. Get, get to the window with a win. Uh, going into today at the Barstool Sportsbook, you had the Jaguars getting two and a half points. And the over-under on that game is 47 and a half. I like points to be scored in that game. The Chargers opened up a one and a half point favorite. Again, now it's two and a half. The over-under went from 46 and a half. Now it's up to 47 and a half. Again, I like points in this game. I have the over in this game. That concludes Saturday. We, we matriculate to Sunday. We have Miami at Buffalo kicking things off in the one o'clock window. This game opened Buffalo minus 11 with an over-under total of 43 and a half. Currently, Buffalo is now giving 13 and a half with an over-under total of 43 and a half. The reason this has ticked up a little bit is because Tua Tunga Vailoa has been ruled out. I believe Teddy Bridgewater is going to be out, so they're going to start Skylar Thompson at quarterback, their third-string quarterback. Miami did beat Buffalo down in Miami earlier in the season. This is not the same Miami team that beat Buffalo back then. This is a banged up Miami team. Miami did go up to Buffalo a couple weeks ago and really give a, a spirited effort in Buffalo. Again, that was with Tua Tunga-Vailoa. 
he's not going to be around for this one. Again, it's going to be Skylar Thompson. I like the I like the Bills to cover. This could be one of those under games because Miami might not put up too much of the points. And again, it's a divisional game and divisional unders were popular this year. We'll go to Sunday afternoon, late afternoon, 4.40 p.m., New York Giants at Minnesota. I think both teams are frauds here. The, the Giants are 2-7 and seven this year against playoff teams. They beat Baltimore and they beat Jacksonville. They're just not that good of a team, uh, the Giants. Minnesota, huh, they're, they're in that same boat. They either beat you by three points or they lose by 45. That's, how, that, that's the tale of the Vikings season. Even look at their uh, points for and points against. It just doesn't add up. They won 13 games, but again, they're winning close games and getting blown out in other games. This was a close game the first time they played. As uh, the Giants hung around, probably could have won, maybe should have won. Again, the Vikings came away with a victory on that one. I like the Giants plus the three, and as a matter of fact, I'm taking the Giants to win outright. I like the, the Giants to win this game. This game opened at... Uh, Giants minus three, it is, it is stayed at minus three with an over under total of 47. It is currently at three for the Vikings and an over under of 48. It could go over the total. The over looks good on that one. Definitely like the Giants. I like, uh, give me the points if I have to, but I'd rather have them outright. Let's go to the final game of the day for uh, Sunday and that's Baltimore at Cincinnati at 8.15 start. The Bengals opened at six and a half, and if you're late to the party, you missed out on a great number. I got it at six and a half when it was uh, coming out, and that's mainly because Lamar Jackson couldn't couldn't decide if he wanted to get up or stay on stay on the bowl. He, he's finally been ruled out. He's not going to play this game. I'm not sure what he's doing. He must really be hurt. But in any event, uh, the Ravens are likely going to be uh, playing their third string quarterback in Anthony Brown. That bodes well for the Bengals in this spot. So right now you can get the Bengals at minus nine and a half with an over under total of 40 and a half. The, uh, the, the uh, line opened again at six and a half for the Bengals. So it's one up three points. The over under is dipped to 40 and a half. I really like the Bengals. If you, if you missed out on that six and a half, nine and a half should be good, but you missed out on a great number. And here we go to Monday. We're going to turn back the hands of time. Going to, uh, those of you that are old school are going to know you put the put disc number one in the disc changer. We got Vanessa Williams on line one. We've saved the best for last. And that is the GOAT Tom Brady, the greatest of all time. Tampa Bay Buccaneers are hosting Dallas at 8.15 p.m. Monday night. Lucky number seven. Why? Tom Brady's won seven Super Bowls. Tom Brady's 7-0 and against Dallas all time in his career. Make it eight. Dallas goes down to Tampa Bay. I like Tampa Bay money line. Uh, Tampa Bay defeated Dallas in the opener this year, 19 to three. Very uh, lackluster game on both sides, but Dallas looked much worse than Tampa in that game. And Dak Prescott has thrown 15 interceptions in his last 12 games. I like him to be uh, picked off at least once in that game. You can find uh, a prop on that one. Dak Prescott to throw an interception, yes. Take the yes on that one. And let's see, uh, you're going to pay a heavy juice on that, but that's okay. You don't pay uh, pay the juice when uh, when your bet hits. And the juice is the uh, numbers like minus 115, minus 130, plus 140. Uh, so that's, that's your juice number. This game opened at the Cowboys giving three points. Again, you've missed a good number on that one because it's, it's ticked down a half a point. Dallas is uh, now favored by two and a half. And uh, the over-under total is 45 and a half. It's still staying at 45 and a half. I like the under in this game. I'm not sure that there's going to be a whole lot of points in that. Give me, uh, give me Tampa Bay money line in this game. Be patient, though. You can wait till Monday. The, 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 the number might go back up to, uh, to three. A couple other areas to bet this weekend, and I have tickets that I have made. You can also do teasers. Let's go with teasers. And those are essentially manipulating the point spread. So we're going to tease the Jaguars, the Giants, and the Buccaneers. We'll go a three-team teaser. So right now, if we tease the Jaguars from two and a half, getting two and a half, a six-point teaser, that's eight and a half. That's through the key number of seven, through a key number of eight. The Giants 
are getting three. So a six point teaser, that's nine. So you're getting the Jaguars at eight and a half, the Giants in uh, nine, and Tampa Bay at two and a half. Again, eight and a half. Those are all through the key number. I think all three teams win, so I'm not sure uh, really if the teaser is going to be that good, good for you. But in any event, if any of them lose, you're getting a good number with those. A three-team parlay that I like, the number really got out of control. Just, just the other day, uh, combining these three teams, it was the juice was minus 106, essentially meaning you put $100 on it, you get your 100 back plus about 95 or so more. These three teams that I like, San Francisco, Cincinnati, and Buffalo. Uh, today when I made that bet, the juice was at minus 159. So it kind of got out of control on that one. An underdog parlay, always good to pick out the underdogs. If you believe in them like I do, I like Jacksonville, the Giants, and Tampa Bay. And that three-team parlay is plus, plus 983 on the juice, which means $25 will get you 270. Earlier in the week, that was a juice of uh, plus 1,088. So a $50 bet on that juice would have paid 594. And uh, if, if you do uh, take the Jaguars and the Giants and they come in, that's a good hedging opportunity. Uh, you can get out of your uh, Tampa Bay bet and hedge over to Dallas, lock in, a, lock in a profit either way, but be safe and, and be careful on how you do that. Uh, if you bet $25 on that parlay and you're going to stand to win 200 and some dollars, 270 and change, you might want to hedge out and maybe uh, put 75 or so on Dallas. Tampa Bay wins, you still win 100 and some dollars. If Dallas ends up winning, you're still ahead. So doesn't matter. That's why you hedge. And that's what we have this week for you, everybody, on our, our initial pilot edition of Gambling making money, cash and tickets here. I'm Ron Pawniewaz. Be sure to go out and make those, uh, make those tickets and turn them into cash. And we'll see you back here next week for the divisional round of the NFL playoffs right here on ncnewsonline.com. All, all gambling purposes are recreational. Be safe with your money. Be careful. Don't go above your means. And enjoy what you're doing.